Welcome. Today's video, we find ourselves over here in Ayutthaya. We're at the uh, Pet Kasim National Museum. This is the former front palace and was built originally in, I believe, 1577. And it was uh, the residence of King Narasawan. This uh, whole area was destroyed when the Burmese captured Ayutthaya in 1767. And it was later partially rebuilt. And then uh, there was a private collection of some stuff that was in like one of the old royal stables. And King Rama V came here and he saw the, uh, the exhibits that the guy had and he ordered it to be moved here and ordered to be moved at the National Museum in Bangkok and in the other museum that's here in Ayutthaya. So they kind of split all the stuff up that that guy had. And uh, now this area here is a museum. So we're gonna take a look and we'll uh, see what we can So there's a few buildings that you can go in and take a look at. You can see one of the buildings will have all of the stuff from King Chulalong Korn, and then there'll be some Buddha stuff and uh, some of the antiquities that they have gathered up here. So this is the area, it's quite cool. The architecture is nice and it has this nice uh, grass area here. So let's see what all is in these buildings. These are the uh, buildings here. So admission here is 100 baht for a foreigner, 20 baht for a Thai. And we'll just kind of go around this in clockwise direction. So let's take a look at this Chaturamak Pavilion. And you can see the outer wall. The uh, wall was all rebuilt under King Chulalong Korn also. You can see some of the figures. What's cool about this building is it's built in kind of a Greek cross style is what they're saying. You can see the, the front uh, styling up there on the gables. This was built or rebuilt under Rama IV and then uh, Rama V did some stuff here also. And then it was renovated again by Rama VII. The throne hall. That's the throne for Rama IV, Rama V. A couple of the old clocks here. A few of the antiques, not very many. Another one of the buildings here in the complex. Two-story wooden building. I really like the wooden shutters and stuff on these. So they did them green back there, and then they did them maroon over on this side and it looks like it has a little place to sit underneath here so this is the Pimrataya pavilion I believe this is where it has the uh, antiquities so the Prasai and the Praskawa but this side is locked up and then back there is the main building so on this side over here, it looks just like a, a teak style house. So I have some photo memories of the Museum of Ayutthaya, King Chulalong Korn over there, and some of the other people. And there's that four story tower. Kind of cool looking. And then over here, they just have some books and all of that. But I like how it's built, it's quite nice. This wood over here is from what? Klang Sabua. I've been to this temple, it's kind of nice. Some of the Laburi Buddhas. This one here is pretty cool. You can see how nice these buildings are. They're very, very cool. So the pavilion is over here. And here is the four story tall pavilion. Yeah, that is really nice. 
And back there they have some more of the artifacts that are underneath that cage. But this is a really cool looking building. Too bad we can't get up there on the top. That'd be a nice view of Ayutthaya. Everything's locked up now. And they're doing a little bit of renovation over here to this building. But this is fantastic. Right over here they're painting it and doing some stuff over that away. Some of the wooden cabinets. These would have been uh, painted with the, the gold. Some of them uh, inlaid like this. They would have held the, like the Buddhist scripture, stuff like that. Some of the bells and foot, Buddha footprints. A big drum and the Buddha fans. This is the top of a boat used by Rama V. And then over here is the horse's head. Some of the Lotbury art. Some of the stones with the inscriptions and a Buddha statue. And what's cool is they have an armory over here, but it's locked up. And they have something I've never seen before. They have a, like on the war elephants, the mount had a little cannon. Here's pottery, stuff like that. Yeah, this little room is locked up. But anyway, there's a mount right there. They would put that on the back of a war elephant. And then some of the other cannonballs, stuff like that. And another one of his Buddhas. This one was found at Wat Pra Ram here in Ayutthaya. And some of the old bells. And this right here, this is uh, the Shiva Linga. This is a, a Hindu thing. And they would dump water on that, the, the Khmer would. Yeah, that's the coolest thing. So that would have been on the back of a war elephant. So that's a telescope so they could see the enemy. And it, they would have been loaded up on the back of a war elephant. Yeah, that's the coolest thing I've seen at this whole museum. And then they got the cannons and the rifles. Yeah, that is nice. Yeah, this library art is really cool. So this at one time would have had an elephant's head and you see he's holding the tusk. It's kind of like what you'd see out of a more of a modern Ganesh, but they use these as like little Buddha images. Yeah, that's really neat. And you can see the Khmer styling in this. Yeah, they have all these out here underneath the, uh, the breezeway, so you can walk along and take a look at them. So you can see here, this is the Erewhon, the three-headed elephant with the Buddha up on top of it. And these were found by the uh, collector here at pra, Prong Samyot the, in Lopburi. And this is a similar style, but instead of the elephant, he's riding the, the big bird. And that was at pra, Prang Samyot again in Lopburi. Now if you go to that, that temple in Lopburi, you'll get attacked by all those monkeys. All right, guys. So that's going to finish up our uh, video over here at this... Uh, Front Palace Museum. This was a, a real treat. It's uh, four o'clock already. They uh, they actually had to chase us out of here. I uh, want to stay a little bit longer and look at some more stuff, but they're, uh, they kept closing up the windows and stuff like that while I was trying to look around. The time just flew by. I uh, really like it. I, I like the Khmer art and I really like the library style. So to me, this was a real treat. If, uh, if you like the Thai history, definitely this is a place that you would want to come and check out while you're here in Ayutthaya. The 100 baht entry fee, it's three US dollars, it's well worth, worth that. Uh, 20 baht for a tie. So uh, anyway, the, the highlight to me was actually uh, seeing some of the old uh, Lotbury statues and all that. I really like the Khmer influence that's in, the, uh, in that style. Uh, if you're over here on the northeast part of Ayutthaya, it's not too far away from like a couple markets that are here. Uh, there's also the, like the night market area where you can do the boat tours and all that during the day or go shopping there at night. It's, uh, there's quite a bit of stuff here nearby and it's, nothing is too far away in IUTI. If you have a little motorcycle or a bicycle, definitely uh, you could explore and find this pretty easy. And you know, for the three US dollars or 100 baht, it's worth your time. Uh, spend a couple hours here reading the little data plates and checking things out. So I've enjoyed it. And if, uh, if you have too, make sure you smash like 
and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. This is what I do. I show you things that I see and tell you a little bit about what I know. So if you like this kind of stuff, then definitely uh, subscribe, stick around, and you're notified whenever I post a new video. And uh, leave me a comment if you've been here or if you uh, have any questions, let me know, and I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, definitely uh, leave me a comment, smash the like, and subscribe. That helps my channel grow. And from over here in Ayutthaya, until next time, remember guys, life is a journey. Enjoy. Enjoy.